blockchain is a useful technology without cryptocurrency. So it's a useful way of recording ownership of whatever. So um, I was talking to one of our sponsors recently and they came up with an example where farmers in Australia are sharing the use of a tractor. The, the, the tra not, it doesn't make any sense for any of them to buy a tractor because they're only using it for one tenth of the time. So they buy it as a cooperative. They register the ownership um, and the usage of the tractor on a computer system. And the computer system is automatic so that when you sit on the tractor and you put your card in to make it work, the card is registered to you and it automatically logs up use that you're making of the tractor. And that records a debt that you have to the consortium. So as a result of you sitting on your tractor for a half an hour, you are, you are going to be accumulating a liability to the other nine farmers and they're accumulating an asset. And that is being recorded through time in real time and it will be recorded in a distributed ledger. Now that distributed ledger is, is 10, 10 accounts, 10 passwords, 10 computers, all of which are sharing this data that, that Adam sat on the, on the tractor for half an hour and he owes all the other nine 15, 15 Aussie dollars. Okay, and the, block, the blockchain system records that seamlessly. There's no central authority controlling this.